about what everybody's chatting about, right? right? Let's yeah. go to the bubbler. Hopefully, usually it's good stuff. Today it's kind of bad. Mm, okay. Yeah, it was the teen that was involved in the hit and run accident the, uh, of the New Berlin couple on New Year's Day. Well, he's now been identified and is being charged as an adult. 17 year old Kelly Dukes faces nine charges in all, mm. seven of which are felonies, including homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle. It was his own grandmother, can you believe this? His own grandmother who allowed him to drink. He was drinking at her house and left with his aunt's car without permission. Yeah. And uh, his blood alcohol level was 1.83 hours after the accident. That was sure serious. He killed the two people. Yeah. Two of uh, his friends spoke with Fox 6. Let's take a listen to see what they had to say. Things that are people saying, like he should get the death penalty and they should bury him under the jail and stuff like that. They need to stop with all that nonsense because if it was their family member or whatever or a friend, I'm sure they wouldn't want people talking about them either. Yeah, they didn't want to be identified, but uh, it's you know, hard. and it's funny because you hear those sound, those sound bites and you can understand why people would be so angry because I think he is going to potentially it's 150 years with all these nine counts it's of like life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have to say that when I heard this this morning on my way in um, about how long it was, I felt sad. I felt really sad. And, and not just, I mean, I know what he did was just awful, but for the loss of the two lives plus the loss of his life, because obviously this is a kid who is so messed up from early on and that he will never have that chance to ever have a good life. And it mm -hmm. just makes me sad. It makes me sad to wonder where was the family what was this kind of lifestyle that this kid had? Well, he was drinking at his grandmother's house, so that kind yeah, of Yeah, and that to makes me sad. I mean, it makes me sad. Now, whether right. that's me, like, being too empathetic, I'm not, I'm not empathizing with what he did. Mm -hmm. It just makes me sad as a society that that's where we are right now. I was, and I was, when I heard that you were sad, I thought, that's why you're a better person than me. That is why you would be in a church and band. <laughs> on so many different levels. And, first, and I'm all, not a better person than you, but go let's ahead. Let's also say that the victim's family came out with a written statement yesterday saying, yeah. Day saying also don't condemn judge. this kid, don't judge, you know, there's more to the story type thing. But I was actually talking to you, it's just such a, it's a very sad all around story, heartbreaking story, but we do so many stories about drunk driving here in Wisconsin. It's no joke that we have a serious problem True. as I'm all for you, have a drink, but do not drive. Yeah, you know what I mean? And we have, so, we have so many stories about some, you know, stupid mugshot we put on TV for his fifth or his eighth or his tenth OWI. And I was telling Rob yesterday, these are the stories that we need to, let's take these stories into high schools before yes. you get behind. Yeah. These right. are the stories. And it's one thing if you don't care if you're drunk, get out there and kill yourself. These are two people he didn't even know who were right. stopped at a red light. And it's yes. 6 a.m. in the morning yes. where they're probably thinking yes. all the crazies are already off the road for right. New Year's Eve. Just, you know, it could have happened to any of us. Just tears me up that this can happen and this is what drunk driving can do. Right. But this but, is what but, it can but do. But I think that you think it cannot happen to you. I mean everything oh, that we do. And he was two why, times right. the limit three hours after. That's what I'm saying know? though but as uh, in the process of and everything exacts its price. Sure. Everything costs yeah. and I don't think that when you're very young and sometimes even as an adult you don't really think about the ramifications of what you do. That's exactly mm -hmm. it and that's why these stories need you know to be right. yeah. you know it's one thing yeah. and people say oh I'll take my chance type thing I'll have a couple drinks get mm -hmm. behind the wheel that's you mm -hmm. this guy is alive and well we saw him in court right. exactly and you know two people he didn't know can't say the same right and on his family issue too I know that I think in our website that we were saying that he was at his grandmother's house now whether or not she actually yeah, had given we, him the alcohol yeah. we don't know that for sure and whether she was even home right that night is still questionable there's a lot of so questions. there's a lot of questions but it is can we just agree that it's sad it, it is sad. sad all the way around. Yeah. yeah. If there's anything that could ever possibly come out um, of this as being a good thing, it's exactly what you say. These stories have to get out to people, not just kids, although I think kids is, the, is a great target because yeah, we, need to, we need a generational shift in the way we think about drinking and driving, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but also to everybody else. I mean, to me, it's a gigantic embarrassment for this state that we even allow people to get to a seventh or eighth I DUI. know. That's the thing. And how yeah. are they still out? I mean, yeah. this kid killed two people, and I understand that's why he will go behind bars forever, you know, but it's like, or potentially could, I should say. Sure. Um, but how does that happen when you can have your seventh and still be out and because not you have don't any jail kill time? kill anybody or, you know, you just get yeah. caught. Right. And again, that's not the right. state case for most of the country. <laughs> Wisconsin right. yeah. is very yeah. unique in that. Yeah. Right. It is yeah. embarrassing. So why can't we change this? It's sure. like, you know, this 
I don't know if it's the Tavern Association is just too well, strong. Well, there's a cultural I element. I, I, there's been tons of studies. You know, recently we just I read an article here about how Wisconsin was not named number, Milwaukee not named number one of drunkest cities. Um, for the first, first time in a while, yeah. Boston right. and Springfield, Mass, were ahead of us. It's part of a culture. There's a I, I get it. Again, I'm all for partying. I'm all for partying, but figure out how you're going to get home. Yeah, drink yeah. all you That's want. Ridiculous. Just don't drive. I mean, yeah. on, in my opinion, everybody makes a mistake, all right? And I'm all for second chances. Yeah. And if you get, you know, your first time and you're just a little over and you made a mistake, there should be a way back for you to have a second chance. After that, though, it's to done. me, every You're time done. you go out, that's attempted murder. You and drink this, and you drive, that's attempted this murder. Team didn't you took have a reckless priors. view of other people's lives. Right. And you just went out there and drove around like you had a loaded gun in your hand. Yeah, yeah. he had priors. He did have priors. He, he did, did have oh, okay. priors. He had a suspended license. Um, yeah, I think there was underage drinking um, charged before. But to say it's attempted murder and mm -hmm. then to see the the pictures yes. of that crash scene, yeah. right. you know what I mean? And Again, that really that's what sweet it's the couple. same. It drives it home. We need to highlight yeah. that. Yeah. Oof. Exactly. Okay, new posters out. It's thanking the mayor. Oh. But it's kind of a backhanded compliment. It's kind of one of those, thank you, smash that. <laughs> That's how it goes. It's a conservative group that has put these billboards up around town. Of course, it says Mayor Barrett saved Milwaukee 25 million, thanks to Governor Walker's reforms. Just in case he happens to run against the governor in any potential recall election. Um, yeah, the governor's, uh, governor's saying they're not responsible for this. This is a conservative group, Wisconsin Club for Growth, that put this up. Um, but isn't it kind of funny? It is kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, because uh, what you see is, yeah. and he has used, just so you understand what this poster is all about, is the collective bargaining, the ability to have other people pay for some of the health care and stuff that the mayor's been able to help the city's budget with some of these reforms from And he's not the only the one. No, no, it's happening all over the right. state. Right. right. It's just right. Yeah. yeah. I think there should be a rule about what uh, when you're going to use the other guy in your ad against them, it, you should have to use like their eight by ten glossy that they put. It's <laughs> always the worst picture. They take like a still where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're out there, you're like public property. It's you can take right. Yeah. They can yeah. take it. Actually, yeah. this picture wasn't all that bad. I mean, no, at least it was, it was a color. Usually they black and white you and make you look <laughs> yeah, really sinister. Right. And try so. if they can put a shadow on and see if you can give it like a little hit mustache. That wasn't bad. I mean, that something. one's actually yeah. okay. Yeah, it's we'll give them a But you know what? Tis the season. Tis the season. Yeah, oh, I know. You know, yeah. when we got so fired up about all the politics yesterday oh, and what baby. Rick Santorum yeah. had to yeah. say yeah. about welfare and blacks, well, guess what? You had a lot to say, too. And we're going to really? be talking. Yes, they did. We're going to have a little conversation about yesterday's show using what you had to say coming up.